Hi guys, and welcome back to Sunkiss Diaries by Bri Chanel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome back. If you already subscribed, and if you already haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that little bell for the post notifications. Um, so today, you guys, I am going to be doing a um, peach cobbler. Today is Sunday, so I decided, um, like late last night. <laughs> that I wanted um, peach cobbler. So I was going to do it from scratch, but then I was walking in Publix for the ingredients and then I saw um, like, I don't know, let me see what it's called. This thing here. So I was like, all I have to do is just add the um, milk and butter. So why not try it out, you know? Um, so this is, um, it's called Calhoun Ben Mill Premium Home Style Peach Cobbler Mix. Easy to bake and it serves eight. Um, it said just add peaches, milk, and butter. So, let's start, let's get to it. <laughs> so, I have my milk. I have, I bought two mixes. Then I have my peaches, and I have my butter. So, let me see. I'll get my bowl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Give this a little quick rinse. Right. So, first step says. Let me see, it says you'll need one can of peaches, milk, and your two thirds milk. Look for our one third cup. Bingo. And then it says four tablespoons of butter, baby, butter. Is or half a stick of butter for the best results. Use butter. Okay, so it says preheat your oven to 375. All right, let's do that first. So we're gonna do 375. Okay, start and get that going. Okay, so I had to wash my hands, you guys. Um, so the next step after preheating your oven to 375. It says to melt butter in either an eight or nine inch baking dish or iron skillet. So I'm gonna just go with this one here and I'm gonna melt my butter, which it said to do four tablespoons of, but I have two boxes. So I'm going to do eight tablespoons and then melt it in there at the bottom. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna melt it in my bowl though. I'm gonna melt it in my bowl and then I'll pour it into this. I can't microwave this big um, thing. My microwave is only so big. So, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that was my oven um, preheating. So I'm gonna melt this butter. seconds or so. Mm. Butter again. So you can see how my butter is doing. And pretty melted. That's pretty good. Alright. Okay, so my butter is melted. 
let's see what's next step two. Oh no that was step three no that was step two preheat was first melt butter was second and then step three says to combine the milk with the cobbler mix so we're going to just pour this in there our butter into our pan that was our eight tablespoons and then we are going to from here put both of our mixes in and then mix our milk and it says two thirds milk but we're going to double that because remember i have two boxes so, Smells good, I guess. <laughs> Put that in here. It won't be so messy. That there. And then let's do our second box. Right there. And like, hit the like button, guys, if you have. Um, seen this here in Publix and have done it and comment down below and let me know how you enjoyed it. Was it good or would you rather um, do it the old fashioned way, make it from scratch and then comment down below if you would like to see me do one from scratch. Because <laughs> I can do anything that I, you know, put my hands on. I'm not saying that to be cocky, but usually when I try stuff, whether it's making things like um, painting things that I like to paint or um, braiding hair and I see it on the picture, I can usually do it and kill it. <laughs> it's just a gift that God gave me. So I thank him. All right, let's get our two thirds milk in there. We have our two thirds cup. So we're gonna do, cause this is, since this is one third, I'm gonna do four of these it says two thirds i would usually if i use one pack i would just do two of these one third cups but i'm gonna do four because i bought two boxes got our milk so we're gonna go in four times one two three and four <laughs> let's see i'm just hoping that this is good because i really wanted to do it from scratch but then I was looking for like the cake flour and I couldn't find it. So I was like, oh, but I see, I went down the um, cake aisle, like the spices and all that stuff. I went down that aisle and then I, um, I just saw this. So I was like, oh, so skip all the hassle. I'm just gonna try this and see how this works. And I hope it's good because I was really craving this peach cobbler. I really was, because I love peaches my favorite fruit. So, so good. So I'm just mixing this up. Make sure it has no clumps. Smells pretty good. I think I'm going to add like a little stuff to it. Like maybe some sugar and then some cinnamon to the peaches. Just to, you know, give it a little, mm, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah hopefully it turns out good we will see we are gonna see so it's pretty smooth let me show y'all pretty smooth pretty smooth so i'm just gonna um get my sugar i'm gonna open up my peaches put them in the um pan second I'm gonna slide this side really quick since my batter is done and make sure we're following the steps okay so my next step says step four pour batter over the butter then pour canned peaches with syrup so we're gonna pour the batter in Move this. okay so I'm gonna just pour the next step says pour the batter over the butter. So I'm just going to pour that in there. Pretty. Mm. 
and it says don't stir. Do not stir. And then it says then pour the canned peaches with the syrup or the natural juice or water. Okay, so next is just to pour the peaches with the um, juice that's in it also. So I'm gonna go for it. <laughs> We're gonna go for it. Let's just pour this in there. Let's see how they go. And it's looking crazy right now, but it says that the, um, I'm just gonna do a little bit of sugar in there on the top of it like that. Just a little bit. I don't wanna make this too sweet and then it's good and then you like eat too much. <laughs> and I'm like kind of like shrinking myself down because I don't have a um, thing to make myself or make my um, thing go up higher. Let's see. Yeah, okay, that's better. And then I'm gonna go in with just a little bit of my um, cinnamon sugar. Just a little bit, girl. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, just gonna go in it just like that. Go crazy a little bit right there in that middle. Yeah, it's funny. Okay. All right. Let me see what the next step is. I'm pretty sure it's to go in the oven. And then it says step five. It says bake um, for 30 to 35 minutes or until bubbling and golden brown. And it says serve warm if desired, and then top with ice cream or whipped cream. All right, so this is going in the oven. This is how it looks, I'm gonna show y'all. This, this is what it's looking like right now. And then we're gonna put it in the oven for about 30 minutes to 35 minutes or until it starts bubbling. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot, I'm spilling it, y'all. <laughs> I'm spilling it in junk. All right. I'm gonna do it for 35. Yeah. All right, y'all, that was 35 minutes. Let me check on it. Let's see. Oh, oh, shoot. Mom, this was amazing. I love it. <laughs> this is so good. I want you to cook this all the time because it's so good. You don't have to excuse my pumpkin face. Her face broke out so bad from using a dang mask, but it's getting a lot better. It's just peeling, I guess the skin is peeling. Yeah, but so. it's really, really good. I love it so, so much. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And don't forget to hit that little bell. Mm -hmm.